Now, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard uh, some of the interviews from Sunday, some of the uh, uh, back and forth from the Sunday. And we've been doing this now since, when is it? February. The last Sunday in February. So we've been doing it uh, four and a half months. It certainly doesn't feel that way, but guess what? Here in Politico, is America ready for kinder, gentler political TV? William F. Buckley's genteel talk show seems hopelessly out of step with today's debates. Its revival is betting betting on that for its success. Asked once if his long-running public affairs show firing line in his National Review magazine were prosperous ventures, Buckley replied, You don't expect the Catholic Church to turn a profit, do you? On June 2, that would be last Saturday, PBS is scheduled to begin broadcasting its reboot of The Buckley Show with Margaret Hoover as the host. Now, Margaret Hoover is a Republican, but a liberal, a rhino, married to uh, John Avalon, who is a uh, moron, quite frankly. Hoover, a minor figure in the George W. Bush administration and the great-granddaughter of the Republican president of the same name, Herbert Hoover, has until now been a supporting player in the cable news universe at conservative talking heads. Well, she's not conservative. So why now? Televised political discussion was contentious before the election of Donald Trump. It's only gotten worse since. A new firing line could be an opportunity for both left and right to lower the volume and talk things through. But will viewers accustomed to the cable news echo chamber be willing to gravitate to PBS for a more nuanced debate? Can a politically even-handed program thrive in our deregulated and fractious news ecosystem, not to mention our toxic political environment? The odds for such a show may not seem good, but the producers... And an undeserved if small audience hungry for firing the lines brand of genteel parlay are wagering that the answer is yes. Now, this isn't the first show to do this. There have been a couple since we launched Life, Liberty, and Levin. When we launched Life, Liberty, and Levin, what did I say? We're going to do a long-form interview program with one or two guests, tops two, mostly one. Some people you'll know, some people you won't know, but they'll all be consequential. The issues will be consequential since it's once a week. And since it's late at night on the East Coast, 10 p.m., and 7 p.m. on the West Coast, it's not going to be a yell show with 14 guests back and forth. That is the prototypical cable show. And by the way, I'm not putting any of them down. Some of them I like very, very much. Some of them I don't. It's just different. And when we announced this program, uh, first in November and then... uh, when we actually launched at the end of February, we said, I said, that it was going to be a program where we have substantive discussions about important issues. Since then, PBS has launched this. Some of the network shows have launched one, trying to bring back the Bill Buckley firing line. First of all, nobody's Bill Buckley and nobody's going to be Bill Buckley. Secondly, we've already brought back this approach. And Politico may want to report on it. We have smashing ratings, smashing ratings. We defeat CNN and MSNBC every single Saturday, excuse me, Sunday night. And when the show first came on, people were saying to me, both inside the cable channel and outside, you need to be more passionate. You need to be this. You need to be I said, you don't understand. I'm not a guest on this program with a four or five minute hit. This is a more cerebral program entertaining, hopefully even bracing, but more cerebral. I want some philosophers on. I want some heavy-duty thinkers. At the same time, I want some other people on who really know their subjects well, who can contribute to the national discussion. Now, they would never, ever think of me on any of these government-funded program shows. We know that. Or any of these network shows. But Fox approached me, and here we are. But we'll never get a write-up like this in Politico or the New York Slimes or the Washington Compost or anywhere. I'm not asking for it. I don't want it. I'm just pointing out what a joke this is. We're already doing what PBS says it wants to do. (laughs) 